Well, hello there. I've heard from a few people that uh, you're missing uh, the stickers as a feature on Twitch. So here's a that's a simple solution on how to get them back and how to get your own custom stickers going again. We will use the loyalty stores on Streamlabs and Stream Elements. The process is pretty much the same. It's that simple. You can't mess it up. So let's get going. After you bring up your dashboard, if you use Streamlabs, you definitely know how to get in there. You just go over to your CloudBot, set up your loyalty uh, point settings. I would go generous on it so people can uh, use the uh, loyalty store items uh, as much as they like. And after that, just go over to uh, the store and set up your items, which is plain and simple, as I said before. Um, I already have a couple of things set up here. And I'm not going to uh, make another one, but the process is pretty much the same. You can't miss it. What's uh, important here is you need to use the same name, exactly the same. There can't be any uh, differences between the two. Whatever name you set up for the uh, store item, uh, the alert has to have the same name later on. So just click on Stream Perk if you want to, uh, you know, set it up that way. Sound effect obviously can be, be just a sound, so there's no, absolutely no point doing uh, any of the GIF uploading part. I would always leave it on Stream Perk. It really makes no difference you can uh, just ignore the uh, gif later on on the other hand if you just set it on sound effect you know it's it's not going to uh, be much unless you want to use the like uh, jump scares and stuff i've seen that happening we're talking about stickers now so stick to uh, stream pack set the name remember the name and the description so people know what uh, uh, the item actually is. Cost, quantity, cooldown, that's entirely up to you. It's it's really plain and simple, and it's pretty much uh, up to your own preferences. Leave the quantity on minus one, so you ne never run out of items. <laughs> Unless you want to use access codes, yeah, set the uh, the quantity to whatever you want, but in this occasion i will leave it on minus one go on to next and this is plain and simple you just pick whichever gif and sound effect you want click on select and that's it what you need to do is click on redeem shows alert you have to have this uh, box ticked otherwise it never show uh, it will never show ever on stream the reading via chat thing i would leave that hanging because i don't think that there's anyone who would actually go into the length of typing it in every single time they want to use a sticker plus you still need to have a list that actually shows people what kind of redeemable things you have it's it's really pointless for for stickers i, I would leave that out additional requirements I don't think you will use that so let's just skip that part so this is the store item on both on Streamlabs and uh, stream elements you need to set up an alert for it just because you you have uh, this going it's not going to show so you still need to uh, add an alert on Streamlabs and um, and uh, the same thing in an overlay in stream elements so let's just go over to the alert box and in uh, stream elements you have a tab called cloud bot redemption now if you want to have uh, a general sound setup for uh, a bunch of stickers you, you don't you don't want to use the same thing all over again uh, you can you can pretty much leave uh, this as it is 
it's it's not going to count because you will later on set up custom alerts for all the store items it, it just doesn't matter what you need to uh, tick is this replace product image with cu uh, custom image if you don't do this uh, the alert will show the uh, default all the time regardless of how many variations you have set up just go down here to alert variations on first well, obviously i have a, a bunch of things here but on first go you need to click on add a variation with default settings it's going to bring you out a template which will pretty much look exactly the same as this one and this is where uh, the important part happens you have to use the same name as i mentioned before it uh, cannot be different otherwise there's no connection between the two and the alert never shows up so yeah be careful about the item name it has to be the same and you know it's it, it pretty much self-explanatory since we're uh, trying to call for a certain item just choose name in this case the rest is pretty much up to you where you can actually uh, cut this uh, whole process short is this part once you uploaded the sound for the store item you don't have to do it again for the alert it's going to play nonetheless just uh, put the same uh, sticker or gif uh, onto the alert set up uh, the alert duration it's entirely up to you how long this sound uh, effect uh, is it's a little tricky on Streamlabs because sometimes uh, this duration slider doesn't really add up, so it's trial and error. It, it, it's different for uh, every single sound file. In a few attempts you can do it uh, and it's, it's really not difficult. Once you've set this up, especially the font size the color and and the rest just click on save and if you want to uh, save the uh, hassle doing the same thing again just click on duplicate it's going to copy every single setting you uh, just did all you need to do is just change the name change the gif and you know set the alert duration and and that's that's pretty much it. It's really not difficult. On stream elements side, what's different is that, well, you obviously use your uh, ov uh, overlay on, on this particular occasion. You obviously have loads of things set up. Now, in this case if you want to uh, have all these store items show up on the same uh, spot you just need to stack them up it's a bit of a pain in the ass if you ask me because uh, if you want to modify uh, one of them you don't always see uh, what's what's happening so if you actually want to see the, the different uh, stickers you need to move them around but it's still something that's doable. So once you have the uh, overlay on your OBS or Streamlabs, whichever you use, the process is pretty much the same. When you create a store item, you get exactly the same options. There's nothing different here. So I'm not. Uh, I, uh, there's no need for me to explain that again. It's it's that set the same oh yeah obviously you uh need to click on that to make it show up but stream elements is is a little bit more simple it is the fact that the item itself is there it's uh, 
you, you don't have to uh, mix it together uh, with uh, your alert box you can put it wherever you want so when you want to set up a new one you just click here go to alert and go down to store redemptions and that gives you the same template uh, you saw on uh, Streamlabs. Now the one thing I didn't really like about Stream Elements uh, solution here is the fact that unless you uh, really go down and uh, set custom fonts for uh, the text underneath the sticker it uh, tends to have an unwanted uh, shadow really it duplicates the text and and it really doesn't look nice that's that's the only on, uh, downside of stream elements customization wise it's it's a little bit more graphic than uh, stream labs so you will definitely have fun with this and and that's pretty much it once once you have everything set up you have your store items here and it's work it works like a charm really and you can use whatever you want um, i'm not quite sure about videos but for for gifts and sound effects it's it's pretty me pretty much cool well that's it so have fun fire away and if you have any questions just hit me up on twitter Cheers.